Hello, today I am going to show you a project rating index, how you can calculate uh, that you will choose the best business or the right business for your own. Uh, you may have different businesses in your mind, uh, but how you can choose the best one. Please subscribe to the channel that uh, uh, I am sure uh, this video will help you and also uh, there are very interesting and uh, related videos uh, on the way. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, project ranking or uh, prioritizing. Um, there are different models. Uh, one is a weighted model. The other one is a rating scale model. The rating scale model is which I am going to discuss for you uh, today. Uh, project planning is a major phase of the project life cycle. Uh, planning is very important in different projects. Either it is a big project or a small project, uh, it is very important. Uh, so that industry practitioners perceive that early planning efforts in the project life cycle have a greater influence on uh, project success than planning efforts undertaken later in the project delivery process. So it is better to plan earlier than uh, later. Uh, so that is important there is no right uh, or wrong way to write a business plan uh, what is important is that a plan meets uh, meets the needs so one of the format or the planning uh, process is using lean startup format uh, this is describing your companies or your own small businesses value proposition, infrastructure, customers, and uh, finances. Uh, these formats are uh, useful for visualizing trade-offs and uh, fundamental facts about uh, your company or uh, your uh, business. Uh, lean startup format uh, contains uh, different very important uh, features. I will put uh, the detail of each features in the description uh, below. Uh, what are the key partnerships to your business? You have to consider that key activities. What activities? Uh, key activities are expected from you. Uh, key resources. What are the key resources uh, for your business? Value proposition. Customer relationships. Uh, how you will keep in touch uh, with your customers? Uh, customer segments. That is your specific target customers. What are your specific uh, target customers? You have to identify that. Uh, channels, cost structure, and revenue uh, streams. You have to consider uh, if you use this uh, format. Uh, project identification is uh, the process to assess each project idea. The things that you have different uh, project ideas in your mind and uh, select the project with highest priority. Uh, in, this involves collecting, processing, and analyzing data on problem or needs of the areas or uh, community or organization. Issues employed in uh, project identification are desirability, feasibility, affordability, and relevance. Uh, I will put also these details in the description box to save um, our time here. You can read from the description box. Uh, once the project has been identified, the next stage is to describe the idea so that it can be prioritized and uh, move on. When a firm uh, evaluates a large number of uh, project ideas regularly, it may be helpful to streamline the process of preliminary pre screening. For this purpose, a preliminary evaluation may be translated into a project rating index if, when you consider already existing firm or company. Uh, weights and uh, ratings are given based on the industry uh, scanning and corporate appraisal or your personal assessment and uh, experience. Especially, uh, I am focusing on uh, your personal uh, business so uh, you have to assess the ideas the project ideas or the business ideas in your mind uh, 
uh, and also you have to use your personal experience based on that you will um, do your ranking it is an evaluation method that helps uh, management to streamline the process of initial screening before starting the business you have to screen uh, the different business uh, areas factors for rating have to be identified and weight is to be assigned scores have to be given so we will see uh, examples the steps involved in determining uh, the project rating index are as follows um, first identify the project evaluation uh, relevant factors useful for rating a project you can consider different uh, existing factors which uh, you think will uh, affect your business in the future so identify that assign factor weights to each factor based on the relative importance of each factor uh, give the weight for each factor based on the importance uh, use an appropriate rating scale typically a five or seven point scale is used uh, i will show you the five uh, scale uh, uh, as an example and uh, rate the project on the listed factors when you use scales for example when i use the five uh, level scale or five point scale uh, five means very good four means good three adequate uh, two poor and one is very poor a project rating index uh, steps the remaining steps are uh, then multiply the factor weight with the factor rating to calculate the factor score for each factor then finally uh, add all the factor scores to determine the rating index of the project last uh, what you will do in the last is uh, reject the project if the rating index of the project is less than the desired the desired value this is for the existing firm or a big project already uh, in the way uh, in your case uh, in my uh, today's focus uh, case choose the first rank then you have done it uh, what are the factors for example you can consider are let's say capital okay amount of money you have in your hand or from some sources you will get consider that resources uh, human resource material resource such as infrastructures and etc. Uh, time because uh, work uh, life balance is important what is work life balance is the equilibrium where you equally pre uh, prioritize the demands of your career and the demands of your other life uh, then difficulty level uh, technical skill and other uh, requirements you should be successful if you will not be successful you shouldn't do so you have to uh, assess for the success uh, story of the uh, business by uh, customer uh, per day considering how many customers per day you will entertain return rate then uh, to do that ask other people uh, read the success stories of other uh, businessmen or uh, companies and the like then risk is what risk is you will expect okay level of uh, riskiness of the business you can consider such these are not only the factors you can consider any uh, things um, actually on the ground around your business area uh, for example uh, let's see the factors input availability technical know-how reasonableness of uh, cost adequacy of market complementary relationship with other products stability uh, dependency on firm's strengths, consistency with government priorities, and uh, then finally you will do the index. For this, for example, for the input availability, the weight is 0 0.25. For this one, technical know-how 0.1. Then you will assign the weight according to the relevance of the factors for your business. Then it should be add up to one. When you add this one it will uh, give you one so here five is very good four is good three is adequate two is poor and one is very poor then finally for example for input availability let's say uh, it is adequate then you will use this here when you multiply three by 0 0.25 you will get 0 0.75 
and for technical know-how uh, let's say it is good you are technically uh, good for your business then uh, multiply 4 by 0 0.1 you will get 0 0.4 and etc finally you will add up uh, this you will get 4 here this is for one business uh, let me uh, show you a very interesting and practical example uh, i do uh, by my own <coughs> for example time uh, let's say time is very uh, one of the factor a skill is one of the factors that is technical know-how risk factors uh, success story uh, and then just very simple examples for uh, time let's say uh, the weight is 0 0.05 for skill 0 0.03 that means um, i am just uh, roughly giving um, considering that their relative importance risk 0 0.02 and success 0 0.9 because you have to be successful that the weight is very uh, uh, large uh, let's say for example different businesses uh, mini market supermarket bakery or pastry uh, butchery uh, beauty salon it could be male beauty salon or female beauty salon uh, cosmetics this is mostly for female uh, you can uh, consider for example these things let's say these are the business ideas ideas in your mind uh, then uh, here you will give for a uh, time of time requirement for mini market let's say you do have a uh, time shortage so you will you have ample amount of time let's say then you will give five for this one or you will give five then what you will do is multiply this factor this factor with this weight okay so multiply a by b then you will get 0 0.05 multiplied by 5 you will get uh, here uh, a figure then for this one also you will multiply 5 by 0 0.03 for this one 2 by 0 0.02 4 by 0 0.9 and then you will get finally when you you add up you will get 4.04 .04. for supermarket you will do the same Five times 0 0.05 uh, for a skill 0 0.03 by 5 for this one 2 by 0 0.02 for this one 4 by 0 0.9 you will get 4.04 again for bakery or pastry you will follow the same procedure finally you will get 4.87 rating index then for butchery you will get uh, 4.02 for uh, salon beauty salon you will get 3.03 for cosmetics 4.08 uh, when you rank this one this one is large number 4.87 so it will be first next will be 4.08 second the third will be 4.04 or 4.04 the same you can choose uh, equally this one but the first rank is uh, bakery or pastry uh, by considering you don't have a uh, capital problem here uh, so you can uh, choose bakery or pastry as your business uh, this is for uh, an example uh, one important thing i want to advise you is uh, from my personal experience is don't overlook or don't be reluctant about government related issues for example uh, time of uh, paying taxes it will count this on you and you may finally be in the uh, teeth of corruptors okay so be cautious and uh, pay taxes or follow things on due dates that is very important uh, thank you for uh, watching uh, bye bye